Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create a beam with the different methods in Tecla Structures 2023 version. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla Structures in Indian environment. Before going to create beam, you need to create views. So click on grid by using left click, right click on mouse, create views and click on along grid lines. Now click on here and type here elevation on and give the space and grid. Similarly, we're going to type here elevation on grid. Okay, now click on create, then click on OK and OK. Now views are generated by default views. Now I'm going to open our views by using the view list shortcut, control I on your keyboard. Now, for example, go to the plan at the 3000 level and click on this arrow to open and close this window. You can see now we are in planet 3000 level. You can see in, on the title here, planet 3000 level. Okay. Now, you can see when you move the cursor on grid, you'll get the highlight here. This highlight because of this direct modification. Currently, we don't require this direct, direct modification option. So click on here to deactivate this option. Now going to create beam. So click on steel to get this option. Click on this option and zoom it here by using scroll and pick the first point here and pick the second point to create beam between these two grids. Right click on mouse interrupt and click on window and select this 3D view. You can see now beam is generated here. Uh, to rotate this beam, use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this. By default, it will rotate on center of this pink color, you can see, center of this box. Uh, if you want to rotate about this beam, you need to use the shortcut option, control R. Before going to use this control R option, uh, you can see now this beam appear transparent, just like glass, uh, to get solid view. You can use the shortcut control 4. You can see now this beam appearing just like solid. Now use the shortcut control R for rotation point. Click on here to pick the rotation point and use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this about required point at here like this. You can see now beam is generated here at level of 3000 because we are generated planet 3000 level. So this beam placed at the level of 3000 from ground level you can see like this this is the default beam now we can change this profile also so double click on this beam to edit like this now you can see in the profile by default we have ismb 300 this is the indian standard metal beam profile if you want to change you can change from here you can see you will get this three dotted so click on here to open profile catalog here these are the Indian standard metal beams here, ISMB 100, 125, 150, 175 like this. And we have different uh, standard beams also here, ISM, ISHB, ISJB, ISLB, ISMB. These are the Indian standard metal beams. According to your environment, you will get the standard profiles here in this list. Uh, for example, we're going to take here ISMB 400, then click on apply OK. And click on modify to see the result here click on modify you can see you will get ismb 400 metal beam like this now close this window and to deselect this column sorry beam click on space to deselect this beam like this now go to window and select this planet 3000 okay once again I'm going to explain you once again how to create beam just click on steel and select this beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create beam like this right click on mouse interrupt click on window and select this 3d view you can see now we have beam like this this is one method in the second method go to planet 3000 in the second method if you have a specific length of the beam you can create by using second method for example you can see click on steel and select this beam uh, for example if you have a beam length 4000 then select this beam and pick the first point here now we need to give the direction uh, where the beam should be placed so now we're going to give the direction at here don't 
click on it just place the cursor at gradient section or at midpoint you can see just i'm going to place the cursor here now we're going to enter the length 4000 on your keyboard then click on enter or you can directly uh, click on here ok to create a beam like this right click on mouse interrupt you can see now we have beam this length should be 4000 you can see select this beam you will get the length of this beam 4000 automatically at here by default in the latest version 2023 tecla structures 2023 version by default you will get uh, the dimension here click on window and select this 3d view you can see now this beam length should be 4000 like this you can also place this beam uh, cross also for example you can see select this beam and pick the first point here if you want to place cross just like here the pick the first point here and don't click on the second point just place the cursor and enter the value for example let's take 5000 and click on enter on your keyboard to place the beam you can see now this beam length should be 5000 like this this is the second method now coming to uh, the third method in the third method you can directly place the beam uh, between these two grids for example you can see now you can see at the bottom of the screen we have here screen uh, snap symbol snap to line or adjust just to select this snap symbol to activate now select this beam and just play place the cursor don't click on it just place the cursor you can see you'll get the arrow here the arrow uh, arrow head indicates the right side now click on this on this grid to place the beam by click on only single click for example if you want to place the beam between these two grids one and two just place the cursor to see the arrow and click on it to place the beam right click on mods interrupt to exit the command now click on window and select this 3d view you can see now we have beams like this at here okay you should notice the arrow also you can see by click the first point and second point to place place the beam select the beam you can see at the end of the first point picking point will be uh, display in yellow color and uh, second point picking point indicates the pink color in case of this uh, by selecting the only single click you'll get the point once again like that you can see yellow color and pink color this arrow head indicates the ending point of this beam that means second point picking point you can see i'm going to place once again uh, click on this beam to make sure this snap symbol activated and you can see now arrow head indicates the right side that means the second point picking point should be right side for example uh, if you place the cursor nearby this grid arrow will be appear in this side if you place the cursor edge of this side then it will be appear in this side for example if you want to place like this then click on it right click on mouse interrupt to exit the command you can see now arrow head in this side that means the, the when you select this beam the pink colors should be this side okay now I'm going to let let me check it just select this beam you can see starting point yellow color on right side and pink color on left side okay that's it when you place the beams uh, members you should be placed in only one order that means uh, uh, pick point first starting point left side and uh, ending point right side when you place the one beam you need to place remaining beams also same direction to get the numbering easily okay similarly you can place the in vertical direction also in one direction okay uh, now you can change these profiles also for example go to 3d view if you want to change this uh, beam profile then double click on this beam to open the beam property window now click on here by default we have i section profile if you want to change this to circular pipe profile or any other profiles just scroll it down you can see uh, currently we have i section profile here minimize it and we have l profile z profile u on plate and this circular section just like rod and uh, this is the halo section pipe and rectangular we have different methods here for example let's take here circular 
and T indicates the standard profiles. We have different types of standard profiles according to Indian standards. And if you want to create custom profiles, you can select from here. For example, let's take this pipe and you can enter the value here. For example, let's take oh, 300 millimeter outer dia and thickness we're going to take here 6 millimeter. Then click on apply. OK. Click on modify to see the result here like this. Okay. Now coming to this big point, it should be center uh, for this pipe. So you can change this uh, position, picking position by using this option here. You can see at depth, uh, currently we have behind. Let's take middle and click on modify to place like this at picking point at the middle like this. You can see in the elevation view also, for example, let's take elevation on grid A. Go to the view list. You can see to get view list you can use the shortcut control i otherwise click on window and select the here view list and select elevation on grid a and click on arrow to open view like this okay close this window you can see now this pipe position exactly at the center if you want to change this position uh, at front it will get like this and if you want to place behind it will get at bottom and by default no uh, pipe position should be center so you need to select here middle and click on modify to change this position of this pipe like this okay now coming to the second option here for example if you want to change uh, these are the custom profile you, you can use the default profile so for example double click on this i section profile and you can see at the top just click on here these are the default profiles custom uh, default profiles here for example in this profile if you want to place the purling that means that just like z profile you can select from here our channel our plate our l angles also you can use these profiles also for example let's take angle the angle profiles are loaded here by default uh, the angle name is name is angle and profile is isa 75 74 by 8 isa in the standard angles here 75 is the leg length for example click on modify to see the result here now we have angle profile like this l angle this 75 indicates the length of this leg is 75 and this is leg is 75 and thickness is 8 millimeter if you want to change the profile just click on here and uh, you can see these are the blue color indicates the standard profiles here under the isa standard profiles here for example we're going to take here isa 1990 by 90 60 by 10 click on apply okay click on modify to see the result you can see now this angle uh, should be isa 90 60 by 10 this length should be 90 and this length should be 60 and thickness should be 10 millimeter you can change from by default uh, place to profiles here plate or angle or uh, purling profiles for example we're going to change this profile to purling so select this purling load it you can see we have z profile here click on modify to see the result these are the z profile purling like this okay you you can use these options also otherwise you can default you can create these profiles also for example if you don't have those options to load the profiles then directly double click on this profile if you don't have this option to load the profiles then you can directly click on here and you can select from this list also for example if you want to create a z profile then click on here and set the z profile and enter the values here as per your design standards so click on apply ok click on modify to change this profile like this also and you can enter here Perlin. Perlin, and uh, you can change the position of, of pick point here by using the depth here let's take front like this and you can change the color also here click on here to change the class from this location for example let's take class file to change the color of this Perlin like this you can also change the numbering also this is advanced topic you I will explain about this numbering later we're currently you can create the Perlin like this also. 
otherwise you can load from this option also okay you have two methods you can directly load and change the profile or you can directly type here and load the profile and change the position depth at from here also okay okay that's it about how to create a section profile beam or purlins or pipe or any kind of profiles uh, from by using this option beam tool in tecla structures 2023 version if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please subscribe my channel then yes youtube channel and please like this video okay thank you